Hey there guys, this is Robin Hood, and today I am bringing you my first round of Rush that I played in the Aftermath DLC. Uh, I jumped into a game with Mike and Huge, and we are playing on the Marquez, or Marquez, however it's pronounced, Monolith uh, map. And I've got to say, I have a lot more footage to show you. have been playing the crap out of this game and uh, the DLC, as well as some pretty cool Planetside 2 footage coming up soon. I just have not taken the time to edit anything uh, as I've been playing the games. But this game here, you can see I'm starting off in the Little Bird, and uh, we're going to kill a few things before I end up getting taken down. But this game has uh, some really cool MCOM arms in it. Uh, just because of the way the map is designed, it allows for those kind of epic moments. And uh, on to my opinion of the DLC so far. I've played several hours of it now and to me it is definitely the best DLC that DICE has put out. I, you know, I liked Close Quarters, I liked some of that closer action. I loved Armored Kill aside from some of the things with the AC-130 and Rush, but Rush is my favorite game mode in this game and these maps really do a great job with it. I am loving Rush and uh, there's a lot of cool things that happen in it with the way these maps are designed the placement of the MCOMs uh, to me so far is pretty well done there's a few bases like the one coming up now that are a little bit hard uh, to take just because that this base here is completely overlooked a I believe uh, by everyone in the building, but you know, th it's not as bad as in some maps like sometimes Metro can get Really bad and also you've got Grand Bazaar just tons of maps where the MCOMs are very choke pointed and it's difficult to actually Take them out. So the map design is great. Uh, it looks beautiful the maps do you know, they, they do a great job as ever with the artwork and overall the level design to me is just great. Uh, you know, it, for Conquest, it's pretty good. Definitely not the absolute best. I still say the best Conquest map to me is Caspian Border if you're on 64, man. Just because of the fact that you can get that infantry action and all the vehicle action and it's a good balance. But, you know, the Conquest maps are great. Uh, Team Deathmatch is actually really fun. Scavenger is a very fun mode. I'm going to show you guys some gameplay of that. And then also you've got the Rush, which, to me, they really did an excellent job on. So, definitely, to me, the best DLC yet. So to you, Dice, I say good job, and I have uh, high expectations now for... What's the next one? I believe it's Endgame. But basically... I am using the L85A2 assault rifle here, and this gun received a uh, buff in the patch that came out with this DLC, which reduced its side-to-side -side recoil, and uh, as far as I know, that was the only change, but I liked the gun beforehand, and now it is incredible. Um, I don't know how much they adjusted it by, but I can definitely tell and I was able to do some work with it. Not so much this game as in some later games to show. I'm just showing this one because it was in fact uh, my first game, but look at this area. Notice how I killed that guy on the top floor. There's this ring around and the MCOMs down there in the middle, so it's really hard to actually push in and take it out without being shot from one of the floors. Uh, you know, you can have tons of rockets and stuff going in there. And right now, I'm about to get shot by a sniper in the side, trying to work my way in. So that's the end of that life. Then I'm going to get in a tank here. And uh, one thing they definitely did a better job of for Rush on these maps than, say, the last DLC, which was Armored Kill. Obviously, Armored Kill, as is in the name, focuses on armor. But for Rush... Uh, there was just too much of it, at least on one team. The defenders might have a tank, and the attackers might have three or four tanks, 
uh, you know, that includes tank destroyers, then of course the AC-130 up and all their jeeps and stuff. So, to me, they did a much better job designing the rush for this, and without the AC-130 there, uh, it's really nice. That, to me, while it's fun to be in sometimes, it really just doesn't, you know, if you can't drive it, it shouldn't be in Battlefield, or that's at least my opinion but right here I left in spawning so you guys could see that I decided to equip smoke grenades and I am going to run in here um, everyone around me is being shot and through the use of smoke grenades I'm gonna be able to arm that bomb but now we need to defend it and the cool thing about this bomb is while they do have the overlook on it so it's hard to get it armed uh, once it is armed it's pretty easy to defend you can see I'm gonna kill one guy with a grenade there defending and uh, that bomb's actually going to go up once I die. So that was a pretty awesome, successful plant there. Uh, there was enemies all around and through smoke. I didn't even get scratched on my way in and out of there. So it's, you know, smoke grenades, very underused, uh, to me at least. Everyone thinks that health is so valuable. And, you know, it definitely is. But if you have people working together, some with health, some with smoke grenades, it makes Rush incredible. The things you can do with the smoke, it not only, and you'll see an example of this later, not only helps you arm the bomb, um, but in effect it helps you defend it. And you're like, well, doesn't that also allow them to sneak in and uh, disarm it? And to me, it actually does the opposite. You see, the smoke allows them to uh, think that they can sneak in. They're like, oh, it's undercover smoke. I can probably run and get a sneaky disarm here. And uh, if you're watching the bomb, they oftentimes won't check through all of the smoke because, you know, you never know where anyone's going to be. They go right for the bomb. And there's a few examples of that right here. Once again, using the smoke grenades going forward, getting shot a few times. And I'm trying to find cover. Obviously, I don't have a health kit because I am, in fact, running smoke, but I'm going to keep smoke on this bomb uh, before I revive this guy. And right now, just going to keep on popping the smoke in. This guy's going to go down again. See that name? You can see that guy just ran right on in, didn't even check for anyone else. And here it is again. Two more guys going to take them down. Uh, this gun does have excellent hip fire because of its bullpup design revive this guy and get out of there to get some health and healing so this one more set of bases done and now there is just one more set of bases in total that we have to take out and uh, so far you know this map's pretty good for rush my favorite definitely is epicenter and that is my favorite map uh, overall and according to the poll on battle log it seems like it is the majority of people's favorite. Um, it has like 43% of the votes. So out of four maps, that's that's pretty good. And that map is just excellent. I feel like there's just a lot of things going for that map. Excellent looks, uh, great map design, tons of flanking routes, but not like to the point where it's impossible to defend. Uh, it's pretty much perfectly balanced. And, you know, the cracked up road and everything, using that as cover, it's a lot of fun. And I have an absolutely crazy rush game to show you guys on that coming soon. So expect that throughout the next week. I know this has been out for like a week now that I'm uploading this, but, you know, I just had to go ahead and give it a try. And uh, I just wanted to play it some before I actually started posting videos, get a bank of videos to show you all. So now that time has come. And once again, just using my smoke grenades to uh, move forward. Going to revive this guy or attempt to. And continue pushing on in. Uh, the smoke just providing cover for me and my teammates to move up without taking fire. Going to throw one more down, run in and get this arm. And uh, check around, make sure there's no enemies. I'm going to run over here uh, to a place that I can defend the bomb. And once again, I'm going to pop more smoke on it just to make sure. But this guy ends up dropping down before I do so. And when I run around this corner, I had my reviving paddles out. Or else that guy would have been dead. As he is, we traded 
Um, he actually got a... Actually, no, we didn't trade. It looked like we did. I killed him. I got sniped from the roof, though. So, probably would have survived had I not needed to reload there, but... There it is, MVP. Uh, not an incredible score, 21 and 12. But that was my first game of Rush in Aftermath. Uh, if you guys have premium and for some reason have not tried out this DLC yet, go and do so. It is absolutely incredible. And if you don't have premium and are a fan of Battlefield 3, uh, but maybe not so much of the other DLCs, this is definitely the one to get. Uh, definitely, in my opinion, the best one yet. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more, and I will see you all soon.